I talk about keeping pigs in cold weather. And um, pigs are pretty easy as long as you have a good shelter. You want to make sure that the shelter is dry. Um, which is the most important thing because they can get pneumonia really easily. And you want to make sure you feed on time so cold stress isn't uh, added to by regular stress. And you don't want to put up a heat light for them, okay? Because pigs are really curious, uh, i.e. mischievous. And they like to uh, break things. So you really don't want to do that unless you have to. The baby pigs, yes, they need a heat light. Um, with the parents not having access to it. And if you're going to do bedding, don't do wood chips, okay, guys? They eat them, and they can get constipated, and life-threateningly so. Um, so just a nice grass hay is good. Straw is more observant than straw, um, which is uh, good for keeping moisture away from them. And also, they like to eat it. So as far as water goes, um, that's going to be an important one. If you have a bite nipple, um, which is the easiest way to keep water for pigs, this one is frozen right now, so I'm going to have to unthaw this. Um, so watch out for that. Make sure that they have access to water. And uh, if the bite nipple is frozen and you can't get it unfroze, then get them a dish. Um, and make sure the water uh, ice stays broken out of it. Because if you don't, they can get not only dehydrated, but they can get salt poisoning. Um, from having uh, no water and then suddenly having water and food and that will make them have salt poisoning. So you don't want that. We've seen that one time. And uh, they grow pretty good hair. Um, some of the larger meat breeds uh, are a little more bald. These guys are pretty thinny crossed, so they have more hair. Um, and the hair is not going to keep them real warm, so you do want to like keep doors closed and they're really, really cold. Um, close them up at night when it's the coldest. Make sure if you're done bedding that it does not get wet. Uh, it's w wet bedding worse than no bedding at all. Um, you want to go ahead and uh, give them food that's going to support the cold. Uh, give them more food because they're going to use more food to keep the calories because they're using some of their calories to uh, stay warm. And you want to, uh, right here, what I've given them is lentils. That's got some protein, got carbohydrates with the noodles. And we've uh, boiled up some uh, potato, um, potato peels, you mean thing, for them. Uh, so it's a nice warm meal. Um, this helps them not stay, uh, it helps them stay warmer, even more easily. Um, if you can give them a little bit of warm water in their... Uh, their dish is good too. Um, you want to make sure ahead of the cold that parasite load is low in your pigs because if they're fighting parasites and weight issues they're not able to keep their weight up uh, and keep warm. These guys as you can see have plenty of lard to keep them warm. <laughs> right Dozer? You've got the lard going buddy. Yeah feed on time so that they're not stressed and um basically keep an eye on them make sure they don't need for anything um, because you want them to stay happy and healthy even in the cold Co cold is easier for most animals to deal with than, than heat is pigs are no exception to that because at 85 degrees they can drop dead so they really they're pretty easy in the cold as long as you follow those few things mostly keeping them dry warm is up to them and the body condition they're in